Bright Lights, Big Cities, Nature Boy! Welcome to New York City Comic Con. We're here in the eBay booth, and I am here with one of the greatest of all time, WWE legend, Hall of Famer, Ric Flair. How are you doing today? Doing great, thank you. You're doing great. fantastic. Thank Welcome you. to New York City. Welcome thank to New York you. City Comic Con. Thank you very much. What does it mean to you that people are still going crazy over Ric Flair memorabilia after all these years? They still want new stuff. They can't get enough of you. Uh, well, it means a lot. I'm just in a, in a special place. when they have uh, Ryan Fetterman and, and these guys at uh, Celebrity Mint. You know, pick me to be one of these uh, people that they're uh, working with, Floyd Mayweather and... Uh, icons, all icons. Uh, Pete Rose and Mike Tyson. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's pretty cool. That's amazing. It's a very slick few. Well, let's talk about why you're here today. What do we got behind us? Let's take a look at these beautiful yeah, new memorabilia. Right. Yeah, actual gold. Actual gold. You feel the weight of it? Let me feel this. Oh, damn, look everybody, at that. Everybody likes gold and silver, right? Everybody likes gold and silver, especially life, the life nature boy. Change. Life doesn't change. It's, Those it's, are all solid silver. All solid silver. Yeah. Uh, do you collect any memorabilia yourself? Do you have a, I used do you have to, a shrine? No, I, I don't. <laughs> I, I, I know I've, I've never taken it home with me. Isn't that funny? Yeah, it is funny. I mean, I, I, mean, I keep, I have all the stuff that I don't put on the walls. And all that. Really? You don't have a Ric Flair shrine? No, no. What <laughs> about no. any no, other wrestlers? I've got stuff like... Uh, the, the platinum disc from uh, Ric Flair Drip and it's Chambaya okay. with a bad bunny and stuff yeah, like that. Yeah, yeah. That's I, amazing. I, I do all those pictures in frame, but and I'm obviously I'll frame them with this stuff. Yeah. Oh, you have yeah. to. Yeah. Okay, let's say eBay was going to erect a 30-foot gold statue of Ric Flair, right? One of these massive, the greatest piece of memorabilia of all time. Where would that be placed in your mind? Any city, any place in the world, where would that mean the most to you if it was placed? Well, my robes in the Smith from my last match is in the Smithsonian. Okay. So I think if they did that in gold somewhere, that neat, why not New York? I mean, really, All right. a lot of memories here. The nature boy looking to become a history-making 17-time champion. A lot of memories in Florida. There's a, a couple of cities. That'd be a hard decision for it's, me. It's hard. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> I, I want it to be where it's the most visible. Maybe at, maybe at LaGuardia. LaGuardia? <laughs> <laughs> you've been doing these types of you know signings and stuff for a very long time, and I'm sure you've seen and signed a lot of mm. cool and a lot of weird things. What's yeah. the coolest Ric Flair memorabilia that you've signed, and what's the weirdest thing you've ever signed? Well, this will be the coolest thing I've ever signed. This is the cool. Uh, this, you heard it first. This is the coolest this thing. This will be the coolest thing I've ever signed. Um, Love that. And, uh, you know, I, I, people ask me to sign clothing and... It's not my favorite. <laughs> yeah, asked, there's gotta be, there's there's gotta be baby, some baby's diapers. Baby's yeah, diapers. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> it doesn't get old interacting with fans no, in a I place like that. this. That, like, that never gets old. Never gets old. Love hearing the interaction. Yeah, the memories. They've all got a story. They've all got a memory, and, and it, it, it just it, actually it's indicative of how old I am. <laughs> I was about to say you probably see generations of I fans. Do, do. Is it weird seeing like I knew like you. three generations of oh, people God, in I'll, massive I'll see fans? someone that I think is twenty years older than me tell me he watched you when I was a kid. I don't know. <laughs> I look in the mirror, I go, really? That's unbelievable. Yeah. That's unbelievable. And you know, we only got a little bit of time left, but I want to pick your brain for a second. Okay, I want to be a wrestler. I think I have what it takes. I think I have the charisma. I think I have the chutzpah. Okay, I want to ask you, what do you think makes a great wrestling persona character. What do you think? Being comfortable with the character. Okay, yeah. That, that you're trying to get the people. And then we're, it's, I've seen so many examples of where they want you to be something that you don't feel. Right. Um, and you know, I can be that way in business too. You know, yeah. some people are meant to be trial attorneys. Some aren't. You know what I mean? Of course. Uh, in our business, if you if you don't feel comfortable with with you know, on the inside, it's very hard to make somebody out there, you know, understand. Believe yeah, exactly. Right. Yeah. So, like, where did your character development come from? Or where do you think the best character development comes from? Is it something that's deep inside of you? Like that it's Hulton, deep you. alter ego that you're kind of bringing yeah, out to yeah, the surface? Yeah, and if they just have to find a way to find it. Sometimes it takes a couple of months. Sometimes it takes a couple of years. Yeah. Sometimes people never get it, you know? And yeah. They, they struggle to be somewhere they're not. Right. I am Rick Flair, the president of the United States. I want you to rank these three things as far as how important it is 
for a wrestler, okay? His skill in the ring, his skill on the mic, and his entrance music slash wardrobe. Most important to least important. Skill on the mic, skill in the ring, and entrance. Okay. But if you got all three, <coughs> you're one of the top four or five. <coughs> we really only really have four or five like that, really. You might have six or seven. Yeah. To just have all three nailed, nailed down. Of course. Yep. So you're one of the best promo writers of all time. What was your process for writing promos? I never wrote promos. You just grabbed the yeah, mic and I, you just yeah, went nuts. Yep. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> all off the top of my head. Rick Flair at the eBay booth, New York City Comic Con. Have a fantastic day, Rick. It's a pleasure Thank you, meeting Mark. you. Thank you, Mark. Very nice to meet you. Take care. Thank you, sir. Yeah. Woo!